Hello, I'm the Midi Wiz, because my form wasn't enough. And, as you can tell from the Linkara Avatar, we're doing yet another commentary. In this case, we're doing news stories. So, I'm taking a note from Nash from Knock Off the Glasses, and Rowdy from his most recent series, News Crap, except instead of like written stories or Facebook thread stories, they were going to be doing actual live news stories. That, of course, from the most hated of news-related stations, Fox News. And we have not one, not two, not even three, but four stories to, to go through. With our first story being the longest, and we're sort of going to go down the trail of, of length of these stories. So the first one we've got is six minutes long, and the title of it is Mr. Rogers is an Evil Man. So, Fox News dares to try and insult a beloved child's icon during his death, and basically, well, you'll see. So, let's begin this, this crap. Alright, nine minutes after the top of the hour. How's your self-esteem? Well, not as, it's not as good, frankly, not, because... Well, because <laughs> 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 We're laughing, because that's what news anchors do. Evil evil man because yeah, when I think evil I think Mr. Rogers Hitler pff, Mr. Rogers tops that man half a generation that explains a few things Steve absolutely because these experts are saying that the kids of today who grew up with uh, Mr. Rogers were told by him you're special just for being who you yes, are. Well, here's you the are special the way you it's are. Lost in that whole selfish business and experts the are saying this. Hard and experts at Fox News. Those words should not belong in the same sense. You're special because of you. He didn't say, if you want to be special, you're going to have to work hard. Now all these kids are you're, growing up. No, like, oh, it's a kid show. He is going to, no. Well, that's very mean to say to kids, because you are special the way you are, but, you know, you're clearly taking it in the wrong context, because he's saying, they're saying, oh, you know, Mr. Rogers said this, said this, and it's now his fault that these kids are being lazy. It's not his fault. It's not his fault that these, this generation of kids is lazy. It, you know what? There's a lot of improvement. Keep working on yourself. Oh, yeah, because that's totally a great idea for a kid show. You know, ju just go out and say, yeah, kids, you suck, and you're a bunch of losers who are not going to succeed in life. That's a great idea for a kid show. Great job, Fox News. Yeah. i to work hard for it, but actually, this is my generation. I think we're a hard working generation. I'm worried about this upcoming generation. Look at this man. Look at that. This is not a mean man. The American students from Asian countries who did not watch according to the, the research, who did what? not watch Mr. Rogers. When they get a B or a C, they go, mm, What? I got a what is... I gotta work harder. Th that's not Fox News, or, or, that's not Mr. Rogers' Mr. fault, Rogers, because well, that's the fault you of you the parents Mr. who are not parenting their kids. Was a force for good? Or that he ruined a crop of our newest uh, That's a crappy sentence. Is Mr. Rogers a force of good, or is it his fault that? Like, either way, it, what? Yeah, look, see, even they know that they're idiots. I love this. ...at a university, and they were trying to figure out... I can't even tell what the hell's going on in the video, because no one's lips are synced. Maybe it's the video, but, uh... The kids who are on the bubble, they, they're gonna get a C, or they're gonna get a B. They come in, and they beg for extra so they can get an A. Yes! If a kid wants to retake the test, that's not... People who say, what? Mr. Rogers. Who is saying that? Who is saying blame Mr. Rogers for saying, oh, like, no kid goes out and says, Mr. Rogers said I'm special, so I should be able to do this. Nobody says that. Nobody. They all feel entitled to getting an A for a grade. So when there's a C, they go to the professor, like, clearly you've made a mistake. No, okay, if someone, okay, if somebody does that, they're clearly a, a crappy student and they're a dumbass. Don't blame Mr. Rogers on that. It's Mr. Rogers. He is the. No, it's not. It's not. You You're idiots! You've been told that over and over again. Now, so you gotta cut your own the, if you think No, it's the fault of the dumbass kids and their parents who aren't doing a good job at raising them. It's not the fault of the TV because the TV is not a parent. Did a whole generation or two a disservice? Well, that's what this study said. How much you want to bet that the only reason that they don't like Mr. Rogers is because they got footage of him giving the finger?
kids play t-ball these days, everybody wins. Everybody and wins. That makes Mr. Rogers, I'm sure. Nobody says game, that. But, well, maybe from heaven where he's watching us right now. Well, uh, you know what? I'm kind of surprised they didn't say in hell where he's watching us because we're Fox News and we're a bunch of conservatives. Everybody wins. Here's from Nancy and Lincoln. That's not what he said. He said that you're special just the way you are. He didn't say. trying to keep up with the Joneses. And give their kids everything instead of making them. Yes! See? Yes! Right. It's the. F oh, God. Kids, why aren't kids taught more? Yes, more let's than blame Mr. Rogers. Like you're going to have to go get it. All right, well, here's the other side. This is from Nancy. Yes, uh, okay. Miller. That Nancy she is smart. Says, that is smart. The combination of Mr. Rogers saying you are special and Sesame Street. You need to be and this Nancy is an idiot. And Dr. Spock. Last discipline, no spanking. Oh Three my of God! The worst influences on that men. is insulting. That is like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh my God! And going on to the loom and made our own It would be better for my household right. chores if I could train my kids to tell you to do that. Right. Instead of going to Macy's, make your own sweater. Almost done with the right sleeve. What are they even saying anymore? This is what? Butter. Okay. University of Virginia. Talking about gossip. Check it out. They study what? men, women, we gossip the same amount, that study said. Of course, men call it information. Okay, I can't, I can't tell, I cannot tell. Interrupting? Maybe it's the video, but the syncing sucks in this. I, I think it's the video, it has to be the video. Because no, no one is synced. And Liz, let me ask you something about what we've been discussing for the last oh, three God. hours. Mr. Rogers and the narcissistic society that he gave birth to. Because he it was not his fault. That, that was and not the fault of Mr. Rogers. That's the fault of the dumbass parents and the dumbass kids. Leave the character from the TV show out of this. Here's my common sense answer. Okay. I think that. I love, I love that they're really debating this. In general. Talking in general. On television, saying you're special. Saying you're special. It really didn't hurt many people. Yes! It didn't help either. You know what? I'll take that. You know, at least she's being somewhat fair. Oh my god. About their specific special talents. That can help a kid. <laughs> they need a, sometimes kids need a little motivation. He, w he was out there going, I'm going to put on my sweater, and everybody's beautiful. You're going to be fantastic. You're like, wrong! A Tony Robbins in a clown outfit exactly. talking to kids. But, but I don't disagree okay. with that. Okay, these people sound really bitter. Kids. These people sound like the kind of people that would sit on like the porch and be like, Bet you kids with your Mr. Rogers back in my day. I watched Little House on the Prairie. Now you, got it, you know, that's, that's what the sounds like. Dr. Wicken says, uh, Mr. Oh Rogers, God. not so bad. Not so bad. That doctor is smart. In conclusion, that story was completely flawed. And I love this. Why is this a news story? Uh, <laughs> it's the most stupid concept. It's like they're arguing that Mr. Rogers is evil because he apparently inspired a generation of kids to be lazy because he told kids that they're special. That's the point of the show. The show is to motivate kids and make them feel good about themselves. That raises self-esteem. You know, it's a kid's show. That's what you gotta do for kids. Help them raise their self-esteem. What they're, what they're getting out of it is that, oh, this man was evil and he convinced kids to be lazy. And he's the one that's ruining education and, you know, all this. Like, they're missing the point. And how dare they insult this, this great childhood icon for, at least for almost everybody at some point or other. And they just, this is insulting. I all I see right now is just a picture of just an image of like trolley of like Mr. Rogers on his trolley with monster truck wheels just running over the Fox News station. Oh god, so yeah. Mr. Rogers, you're awesome. Fox News, you suck ass. Uh on to the next story. The next story is is four minutes long, and the video is titled Fox Twenty Nine on the PlayStation Pornable. So this is a story about a kid that was caught downloading porn on his PlayStation Portable. Are the words PlayStation Portable going to end up on your kid's Christmas list? Yes. These are good, clean fun, right? Yes, they are. So why are they also known by the name PlayStation Portable? That's the internet for you. Taylor has some information that will really open your eyes. Now, really open your eyes, you know, because Fox News is just such captivating news. should be aware of. Oh jeez. Depends on the kid's age. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Pop this is not this is a video game. This isn't porn. This is not pornography. This is a video game. Yes, they are, as we'll see with the next story. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, they can also do shooter games. Well, yeah, almost every portable gaming console can do that. You know, the, the, the Nintendo 3DS, which, again, we'll get to that next. This, this guy doesn't look like a cop. This guy looks like an actor. Whoa, porn! Okay, wait, wait, okay. They showed some porn at the beginning of that, but then they showed a not- they showed a swastika? Uh, wow, that kid's a wigger. <laughs> I get, oh, oh my god, back to the whole- Oh, here's the kid. <laughs> okay, back to the, like I was saying, back to the, um, the whole thing of them being better. They're probably just like, you know, oh, you kids with your, with your PlayStation portables, back in my day, we had the, the Nintendo Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shin portable. Most hardcore porn is out of kids' reach. It's a money making business. Porn. I love all this stuff is filmed off of a monitor. This, oh my god. All this stuff is. Isn't the only danger out there? Hatred, violence, and the means to carry out deadly schemes can all be well, accessed through gaming devices within internet connections. Well, that's just the internet for you. The internet's filled with hatred. Or played on a computer in your home. Well, duh. Oh, God, here we go. It's one of those. It's one of the... Video... You know, the re Grand Theft Auto is inspiring a generation of kids to become serial killers. Oh, you dare insult Mortal Kombat? Well, combat's awesome. Which, by the way, that's a 90s game. They just now noticed that... Oh, no. Pedophile. Pedophiles. Same thing can be said about the internet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. I just love that image of the cop with the... With, with the PS Portable. The kid is, like, examining. He's like, what is this device? You, you kids call the PlayStation Portable. Oh, jeez. What game is he playing? Um... Well, yeah, because they're kids. You know, kids kids do stupid things. And what? When in fact, it's not really another 15 year old girl. It's a 52 year old man. A loser. So, in other words, a loser. I, lo I love all this footage is filmed off of a monitor. It's they, these, This is a professional news station, and they get the footage from recording it with their. Off of, wow. This is, this is like, this is, this is. <laughs> like this is video game footage. This is on par with like people uh, like that uh, invalid nickname kid. Oh no! <laughs> the, the cop is trying to figure this stuff out. <laughs> I don't know why, but that, that's that was funny. In general. As a parent, there are some things you can um, do to protect your kids. Yes. You can put what comes into your household by setting up uh, parental controls with your internet. Yes. You can yes. Wow. Well, thank you for telling me the obvious. If I don't want my kid to look up inappropriate content online, just put the safety guy, the safety like, the safety sensors on it. Thank you for that obvious information, Fox News. You idiot. Ah, uh, that <laughs> that was so dumb. Okay, so, okay, that was a little bit more interesting than the last one, but, my god, I love it. This, the, it's the easy, okay, like, the story starts off somewhat interesting, because it's telling you about, like, this kid who was caught downloading porn on his PlayStation Portable, or Portable, whatever, same thing, but I just love it. The kid, the kid is like, like, the, the kid who's a wigger, by the way, but then, like, then, like, later in the, it, the, the entire conclusion of the story is, Oh, if you don't want your kids to look up inappropriate content on the internet, set up a safety, put up a safety blocker. I'm like, to block inappropriate content and your safety search. I'm like, that's, that's obvious. Is this really this new of a concept to you? Why is this public news? <laughs> oh my god. So that one, it started off somewhat interesting. I think I laughed a little bit more at that one. But, uh, and what's sad is that this is actually not the last time we're going to be seeing Fox News talk about, uh, talk about the gaming industry. Uh, so tune in for part two and we'll continue with the other two Fox News stories.